Well, everybody, this is 3 Laws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about Camaros on No Prep Kings, and will No Prep Kings turn into NASCAR in 2022? So let me explain. Photo go to Ghost Track V2, their photo owners. Please subscribe and comment, and stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. All about the Street Outlaws No Prep Gangs race series and all the other Street Outlaw shows. So, a couple of days ago, I was watching this video on YouTube, which is uh, No Prep Gangs Ride Along with Drag Illustrated with Lyle Blarnett, Clay Milliken, Disco Dean, etc. And they were talking about the amount of Camaros on NPK. There were 13 Camaros in the Invitational Field. Or that ran in the Invitational throughout the whole Season 4 No Prep Kings race series. So that's almost half of the field. Most of them were the first generation Camaros. So 68, 69. We had a couple of 5th or 6th generation Camaros. And a few 4th generation Camaros. I think really, really few or one or two of those. But mostly a 1st generation and the later generations as well. And a couple with Pro Charge Hemis on them. So why do I say that it's going to turn into NASCAR? And this example was put on by Disco Dean and Lyle in that episode. is because at one point on NASCAR, everybody had the same body style with different stickers on them or different colors. And that honestly looks like it's going to happen on NPK with the amount of Camaros in the field. And for next year, we already have a couple more being included on that list. We have Reaper's new Camaro that did not race this season. We have uh, Jeff Martin's new Camaro, which is done. Justin Sonstrom's new Camaro being built. And also another orange Camaro that is being built by Cameron Johnson Racecars for NPK. So we at least have four more for next year. So we could possibly have... Half the field of the Invitational Racers being freaking Camaros. That will be boring to watch. Fans don't like to see the same car over and over racing on NPK or racing on any other sanctioning racing series or whatever. So there was actually a good solution proposed on that Drag Illustrated episode. And it actually stated... If you would build anything other than a newer race car, not necessarily only a Camaro, you could get a weight brake or wheelbase added. That will influence anybody that is planning or building a new car for NPK next year to build something else. Because you just can't stop anybody from building a Camaro if they want to build one. But if you get the rules adjusted with some advantages to the older bustle cars or some other style of bustle car like uh, you know a Monte Carlo like docks or Chevelles or something different we could possibly get some new builds with other body styles and I do believe that is important to keep the interest on NPK if at the field are Camaros the fan interest will be lost at some point in the future. So hopefully we will see some other builds coming for next year with some other body styles or other cars. So let's see what happens.